Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to just show you a couple of uh, maquettes that I bought on Amazon uh, for, I think, under $70. I can't remember exactly the price, and I'll I'll uh, put the uh, price up here now. And uh, they're very inexpensive. Um, these, I, I can't remember what the company is that made them. And let me show you, uh, the uh, musculature is beautiful on these. It has skin on one side and muscles on the other of both figures. And it's quite accurate. Now, these, these came in a, in a real bright white uh, resin or uh, uh, whatever material they cast these in. Um, and I took my paint which I had to, to match my clay and painted them just to, just to take down that glare because quite honestly, it, it, it gets so blindingly white, you can't see all the detail uh, in the muscles and stuff like that. It's really nice to be able to see the, the muscles in detail as well. I got them fairly quickly because I got them on Amazon Prime. Now here's the one that uh, comes from uh, anatomytools.com and you can see the size difference, not much different. It, it almost looks like an exact copy of uh, this one here. So I don't know how they got the uh, figure, but this one is really well done, but it doesn't have the skin on the other side. It's Got the muscles on both sides, which I actually prefer because if I'm looking at the muscles on one side and I'm working on one side, I want to see what they look like on the other side. And I don't want to have to transpose uh, what I'm looking at here onto the other side of a figure I'm working on. And so as, as you can see, you can see the detail in the uh, facial uh structure and uh, the muscles of the uh, neck and stuff like that. The muscles of the neck is very complicated, are very complicated. And then you got the skin side. It really is handy to be able to see the structure of the, mu the muscles in 3D. Uh, you can go by what you see on a drawing or from the pages of a book, but it really doesn't show you, quite honestly, uh, the detail that you get when you uh, have it in three-dimensional. So that just shows you some of the items you can get to uh, add to your toolbox of uh, the reference materials, and uh, they're quite handy. And I like this size because you can pick it up and move it around and look at it at different angles. And uh, that really is helpful. All right, time to get on to uh, today's project. And uh, I don't know how much further I'm gonna go with this piece. Uh, quite honestly, I'm, I'm seeing why I lost interest in it. It's just a big clunky buffalo that's uh, Really not moving the way I'd like to have it moving. Let's see if we can change the uh, leg. And I, I I don't. I think I'd rather start another buffalo than might waste any more time on this one. I might save the head, uh, but I don't know if I like the rest of it. Now this is a photograph of a white buffalo. Huh. I wonder what that is. I'll have to tag on the uh, buffalo's ear. Um, I'm looking at the beard of the buffalo 
and I can see I have to do something with that, but I don't know. I, I guess I'll just keep playing with this and see where it goes. It might improve as I work on it. I don't know. I'm just at the point of wanting to tear it apart and the point of wanting to continue. Some of these beards get to be really long. And they just sort of flop around. They're so long. I don't know, I kind of like the position of that leg now better than I did before. So I may just continue working on this one. I'm just at that point, like I said, where I don't know whether I like it or not. I wish I had some better pictures of what the hoof looked like, but I don't. I might have to do some research on that. to be substantial to support the weight of the uh, buff. Now they had dew claws that uh, come off the back of the uh, hawk of the buffalo. And the dew claws, they'd take, the Native Americans would take those and string them up and have them hanging from their horse's neck so that they made a rattling noise as they rode their horses and uh, really interesting sound when you hear it. I had a friend of mine who posed for me, he's a Native American model who creates, recreates clothing and uh, items 
that would have been used by Native Americans in the 1800s and and uh, he had his horse uh, decked out with the dew claws hanging from uh, his neck, the horse's neck, and uh, it made it in a really interesting, eerie sound as it uh, as he rode around in the uh, tall prairie grass out here, posing for us back in 1991. I think I'll try to find that video and include it here. Right side. Good. hear what I'm talking about it was interesting when I saw that video I mean when I was there watching him riding through that field it was like I was stepping back in time and I was just coming out of a time machine and seeing an authentic Blackfoot warrior riding a uh, horse a, the type of horses they would have ridden back then and uh, seeing him dressed the way he would have been dressed to okay I'm changing my mind I kind of like this uh, buffalo the way I've got him and I think I'll just stick with it for a while just had a moment of doubt whether I wanted to or not. If you've never had buffalo meat, it's the most delicious meat I've ever eaten. No cholesterol in it. That's why the Indians didn't have heart disease. It's uh, probably the healthiest meat you can eat, but it's also the most expensive because uh, very few outlets for it. But they do sell it. First time I ever had a buffalo piece of meat, uh, a steak, was uh, from a group of people who were reenacting a uh, wagon train from Cody or coming into Cody, Wyoming back years ago. It was a centennial type of uh, wagon train that uh, was back in Wyoming. And uh, they were going on the old wagon trails and, and pretty much doing what people used to do when they did go on the wagon trains. They, they, uh, camped out and stuff like that. Well, they camped out near uh, the uh, village that was there and created by Bob Edgar, uh, where, where a bunch of us artists were showing our artwork and uh, we were invited over to the camp and they served us uh, freshly roasted buffalo steaks off the fire and I've never tasted meat as good as that and uh, 
very little, like I said, cholesterol. Uh, very healthy meat, really healthy. Now, I think this is about as far as I want to get today. I didn't, wasn't really in the mood to work on it today, and I had a hard time getting myself going. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and finish this piece. Still not sure if I want to work on it much more, though, right now, because... I'm still not completely enthused about it yet. But I wanted to revisit it and uh, see how I felt about it. I think that's why it's taking so long for me to do this, because I'm just not all that interested in it. Right now. We'll see how I feel next time. All right, everybody. Good night. <laughs> it's just the way things go sometimes. You just... Some things work and some things don't. You like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.